Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church. Each week we uh, have, uh, during our uh, worship services, we produce message notes, which you can use and utilize uh, as a means of kind of keeping up with the uh, scripture, the uh, message that is based upon that scripture. It has five days of devotional material. And then we have these times together uh, uh, via these recorded re, um, devotions so that we can kind of dig a little deeper into it. I, once again, I want to read the scriptures uh, from this past Sunday. It is the 12th chapter of Paul's letter to the Romans, and it's the first eight verses. These are fairly familiar words in the context of the Christian faith. I appeal to you, brother, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourselves more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body, we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are the one body of Christ, and individually we are members uh, one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, uh, the leader in diligence, and the compassion in cheerfulness. Well, you know, verse 6 of that scripture, and may God add a blessing to the reading of that scripture, uh, verse 6 tells us that each of us are given uh, gifts as a means of God's grace. So we are given gifts that are a means of God's grace to us that we may enjoy that giftedness, we might call it, but that giftedness is given to us on its way to others, that we are to use those gifts for the, for the, the good of the church, for the good of the team. We are given gifts according to what is needed in the life of a community of faith. Uh, grace can be described as God's unmerited love. So the gifts that we are given are given out of God's love for us. And God's love, which is unconditional and, and a wondrous and, and beautiful thing, is given to us on its way to others. That grace is given to us on its way to others. Many of our gifts and talents can be easily identified if you sing in the choir or play a musical instrument, if you're gifted in the area of administration and can work in the life of the church, uh, maybe head up a committee. Uh, those gifts are very, very um, obvious. But I think there's a lot of gifts that go unnoticed. Gifts of compassion, uh, for example, that we have people who kind of work behind the scenes and work uh, for those who are poor, those who um, need help financially. They are cared for by people in our church who are sort of in the, in the in kind of in the background. There are many other positions of ministry in the church that are not so, what shall I say, high profile, if you will, but that they are just as important. You know, the body of Christ has many parts, each of them having a function and each of them um, working together so that we may know the fullness and maturity of Christ in the world. Again, that's another thought that comes to us from the Apostle Paul. So I want you to think about what are your gifts? What gifts uh, have you been given that can be used for, for the good of the team, for the good of the church, for the good of the community in which we serve, uh, in which we live and, and work and play? And uh, what is the purpose of that gift in the hands of, of God 
and as part of the living body of Christ today. So I want you to think about that. Don't be modest. Uh, uh, put it out there. I am gifted in this way and for this purpose. How would you finish those thoughts, those sentences? Because I truly believe, friends, that you have done a great job in uh, uh, being a, a member of this church. I, we have many talented people, but the need is great, <laughs> says Jesus. The harvest is great, and we need those who are working in the field uh, to bring in that harvest. So for us to enact a change in our world, a change in our lives, a change in the community in which we work and play and live, we, we need to step up and be a part of the team, which is the Church of Jesus Christ. I want you to think about that. Uh, you know, Take some time to write your thoughts down somewhere, to reflect on what it means to use, to use your gifts as part of, let's call it Team Jesus, especially here at Central Church. <laughs> God bless you. And uh, I hope to see you again this week. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for your call upon our lives, for the giftedness to make a difference in the lives of others, recognizing that you give us these gifts on their way to others. Show us those gifts, Lord. Help us to reveal them to others as part of the body of Christ, and then let us pass them on to those who need to experience the grace found in those gifts. May it ever be so. In the name of Christ our Lord, amen. Hey friends, have a great Tuesday and God bless you.